Hey folks, this is June the 13th, 2015. This is KVSMC. Hey, we're going to do a video on putting insulation in my uh, solar shop. This is going to be, you know, I've got a long drawn out video, but i got a lot of work to do. I'm one man a job too. But this is uh, Ecofoil. I got this online, I'll leave you a link on it. It's double bubble, Ecofoil. Great, great R value. Made in Canada. Poly double. This one made in April 10th, 2015. Good stuff. But you got your radiant. This is side that goes toward the wood in my uh, solar shop. And this is the, the part that goes on that inside. Or you can get it in both foil on both sides if you want to. I just want white. And this will act, actually act as a like a uh, for those y'all out there worry about EMPs. This will work great for that too. But as you see, it's a four foot four foot by uh, forty eight inches by one hundred twenty five feet. This should be all I need. I hope. But that's a lot of insulation. Good stuff. It's the same thing I have in this building right here. All over the whole building. And it helps out a lot. Alright. Well, I'm be I gotta cut it on my board right here. On my my work table. Two by fours. <laughs> but uh I got my new little arrow staple gun. This thing is a bomb. I put it back in the packaging, but it works great. Um, it shoots a T50. Let's see here. It's an Arrow PT50. That thing works great. Um, you disengage it, and there's where the staples go. I'm not sure the number, but it holds right many. Nice tool. And plus it's small enough to where, I mean, you see the size of my hand? It's small enough where you get in between two by fours and all that good stuff. And you can rotate the the air flow where it won't hit you in the face when you're doing insulating work. Or you know, or anything, any kind of project. Alright, well, we're gonna cut us uh, out a piece. Uh, the Ecofoil insulation, radiant insulation, and go to work. Alright, we'll be back shortly. Okay, y'all, back again. I'm shooting these uh, Era T50s. That's what it costs for. And I'm shooting a half inch. Because that insulation measures on my straight inch stick. And uh, I'm going to put some in it. not that bad at all. Let's see if I get some out of here. If I got 5,000, I think that, that would be enough for what I wanted to do. It's hard to do one-handed. got to do. Yep, definitely gonna need. Sorry about that, y'all. I'm gonna press this lever right here. There you go. So, yeah, not too bad. I press that lever right there to get it going in place. And I got my air pressure set about it costs from 60 to 100 pound air pressure. I got it set at 80 pounds. 
80 to 90 pounds. But that's a great job. Comes with oil, little case. It does the job if you want to do insulating work. I got hand samplers and all, but I just wanted to air something a little faster or easier on me by being by myself. Comes with oil, all that good junk. Your manual, some Allen wrenches. So yeah, it's a good little, good little tool. I shot about a couple hundred nail samples on so far, no problem at all. All right, we'll give it a whirl and cut some insulation out and give it a shot. All right, y'all, we'll be back shortly. Okay, folks, this is what I got so far. Um, putting insulation, eco-foil insulation. You see it, and this, it keeps a radiant right here. It's hot as Hades, right up in here, with the sun beating down on that roof. This is supposed to reflect the heat, and it's doing a good job. Uh, of course, I got solar panels above here, but right here is open roof, and it's hot. So that stuff right there is like R15, but if you make it thicker, it will go to a thicker, uh, thicker, uh, will make the R value go up. That's what I meant to say. Yeah, come along right along. Just, the hardest thing about doing this is moving all my stuff out the way. And it's going all the way up there and I'm still leaving my vent holes for hot air to escape if it needs to be. But this is doing all the radiant bar barrier and all that good stuff. I had to go above my John Deere cabinet up there, a little ventilation. Uh, yeah, looking pretty good. I'm trying to get as neat as I can. I'm insulated right much every few years, but it's just pretty tough. I'm getting ready to start on this area here. I'm right at the halfway point. But as you see, all the stuff in the way, I gotta move out the way where I can get the stuff put in. But that little arrow gun is doing the job. It's getting them in tight spots and it just takes a lot of the trouble out of it. And uh, I hope, like I say, uh, it does a good job. Um, I got my airline running my building. I, I took my vent out, put a piece of uh, eco foil there and run the the um, air hose to the uh, cut, cut me a little slit, and that way I can have be cool in here while I'm doing it. So I'm trying trying to use my head. And this is the new window I installed. Uh, I told y'all I can do them. I, I wasn't doing many split, but I got to do my math and this and that. It was just way too expensive. This this unit right here was two hundred thirty nine dollars from Lowe's, and uh, and it's Energy Star. You'll see there. Same one that uh, Chris DIY Oklahoma has. I've had I've had uh, my other one I've had the same unit in my, in my office out there in my, my CHA coal barn. That sucker has been in there for uh, going on now since 2013, and it's two years and it's doing a great job. But uh, the batteries are at 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Close to 20 degrees Celsius. So that's good. And here's the temperatures for outside right now. It's 90 outside, right at 90. And it's 76.8 in here. That's comfortable. But as you see, the batteries are down low. My battery bank. And I got my fans going. And they're up, they're they're running from my out back auxiliary port which I have right here and that fan is it says auxiliary on and that fan is um, drawing that cold air off the floor into my battery box then over here 
the exhaust comes out. So it's it's the batteries act as like a cooler also it keeps the building cool because the batteries are thick. I mean, you know, lead, you know, a big mass. So the cold air will go in there and keep the batteries cool. And same now the cold air is coming out the battery box. So yeah, I mean it's it's working out good. So I still gotta do all the sidewalls. I'm just gonna tackle the roof, the ceiling first, and work my way down the line. Uh, so anyway, we'll we'll get her done. All right. I'll film a little segment here while I'm installing this stuff. All right. Okay, y'all. I got my little giant ladder hooked up. This thing is the bomb. I'm uh, about 235, six foot tall, and this thing's weighing 300 pounds. Plus, you have your work area where you want to, where you can, um, you lean against it, lean against it uh, for work area, or put paint brushes, or tools, nuts and bolts, all that kind of stuff. Here's my air gun, put down a little notch where you can put a paint bucket. Uh, but this thing is, it's, it's like you're walking on stairs. It is nice. So anyway, let's get at it. All right. Just had to show that to you. I like it. 117 bucks on Amazon. It's a three stopper, they call it. All right. Okay, y'all. Uh, we can go to World. It's a bear getting up here, let me tell you. Trim around these parts. Just a little bit. Got a little too much over here on this side. that stable now we'll go around over here by the charge controller I can 
don't see that. This stuff blocks all the bad um, heat rays with that aluminum siding. Plus all the help during the EMP. And then you take, you take that little gun and slide her up in there. I can get a small crack like this. All right, got it. All right. Well, sorry about the video quality. I will be back again here in a minute. Okay, y'all. Got a little more to put up. Coming in the short rows on the uh, on the. Uh, so, right along. Oh yeah, this is this going to help out big time, y'all. Get her done. Anyway, uh, where am I? At? Oh, here, man. But anyway, y'all, this thing right here is the bomb. This little arrow nailer, and she's half inch, half inch uh, staples, or up to quarter inch, or up to nine sixteenths. That's what I'm shooting. Right there. Here's a staple. Enough to get to that insulation, the eco foil, and to get into the um my two by four. Two by fours. Raptors. Oh man. But yeah, uh I'll let y'all take a look at it. Anyway, uh man, it's uh this daggone little giant, little giant tree stuffer is the job for doing little small projects and whatnot. This does a great job. I gotta insulate everything in here. Uh, I gotta take that John Deere flag down. Keep my calendar up. <laughs> I'm supposed to be going back. I'm gonna insulate the whole door, all up in here. Uh, where we see bare wood. Is gonna get insulated, but yeah, that's what it's looking like so far. Got to insulate all that over there. Back wall, I'm not gonna insulate because that's got a it's, a, it's a mother shop, and there's pegboard and everything else over there, and my big Marine Corps wall lock. Yeah, not too bad of a job. That right there is going up top of a two by four. Nah, I don't like the best in the world, but I got some wire behind there. So I don't want to get too close. Just doing the job. Uh, a little sloppy here and there. But it's going to do the job. It's the main thing. But, yeah, everything it worked out great. And this stuff, I'll, I'll show you a sample. Uh, 
This is a double bubble insulation. And it's it's good 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 stuff. Foil on that side. It's called the double bubble. There's two layers of air bubbles in there. Good stuff. And I think it's R15. Is what it uh, amounts to. But that radiant heat, whew, that's a killer. I got to do the door now, and then do the. I'm gonna go ahead and start over here. I can put that heater back up so I can get that out of the way. Gas heater over there. All right, y'all. Well, we'll be back with some more updates. Okay. Um, I wanted to show y'all my insulating table. I take my utility knife and uh, lay it out on my measurements, what I need inside the shop, and I come out here and cut it. Just see some old two by fours out laying around. Two saw horses. And that's that roll of insulation. But yeah, I got a lot of leftovers. Well, not leftovers. I got plenty else to do. This is a great product, y'all. I'm happy with it. Ooh. But there you go. But huh. Trying to do something one-handed. Look at the bear. All right, there we go. Anyway, I'll get the picture. This side keeps the uh, radiant heat out, or keeps the cool in, vice versa. And you see how thick it is. That's double bubble. Insulation, eco foil, double bubble eco foil, and you get it with the aluminum on this side too, or all you know aluminum on both sides, or you get it on white, like I have it. It's a great product. I got it online directly from eco foil, and I, I'm a great product. I like to say I've had in this building since 2013, and it's a great stuff, great stuff. But yeah, good way to insulate your shed. It's not insulated. And you even go two layers in it to give you more R value. But anyway, I just want to show you what, what we had going on today. And uh, anyway, I'm going to wrap this whole video up. This is, uh, no, nah, I'm not going to wrap it up yet. Let me go show you my air conditioner and all junk uh, that I installed to help cool my system down. All right. Y'all hang tight. Alright, here's my uh, air conditioning unit I installed. And my new window. And I got the eco foil inside there to keep it insulated so no air or anything or bugs or anything get inside there. This is an 8000 BTU unit. And does a great job. Energy Star rated. Got the eco mode on there. It's a nice air conditioning. This is a pilot window installed. Nice vinyl side. As you can see. Oh, excuse me, PVC side. Great stuff. Yeah, a little bit of a project, but I need to get a bigger one in there so I can get my air conditioning in there the correct way. Also use uh, eco foil on each side of the air conditioning vent because there wasn't much, any space there to put the, uh, the actual unit, I mean the actual uh, accordion style tabs on the side. That's what I did. Alright, I'm going to cut this video short. But anyway y'all, I want to thank y'all for watching my videos. Please subscribe and y'all have a good one. God bless them. Simplify and like my video if you want to. <laughs> Take care now. Bye bye.